right? Everyone. We're recording. Uh, we're speaking with uh, John Phelps from Axis Communication. And John, take it away on video analytics. Sure. Uh, what video analytics is, is again, it's, uh, it's a way of, uh, of making uh, a video surveillance system uh, much more intelligent and much more user-friendly and also uh, much more usable. Uh, what, it, what it can really do is uh, reduce the, uh, the amount of information contained in the video so that you can essentially make it more manageable for, for systems and for personnel itself. Uh, if you imagine you know, a, a series of security guards watching a video wall all day, every day, they're definitely going to miss things. There's, there's studies that show that after a few moments even, uh, people simply start to, uh, to miss information and, and completely, after a little while, you know, become oblivious. So video anal analytics is, is a way of, uh, of intelligent, uh, making intelligent decisions on board the camera or on board a server. So, um, you know, intelligent video, it's never idle. It's always running, whether it be on the camera or in the, uh, in the server itself. So there's a, there's a couple of ways that we can go about doing this, um, either onboard the camera, what we call video analytics on the edge, or a server-based analytics application. Uh, both have benefits. Uh, the trend that we see uh, is probably more so towards the, the camera side, only because uh, when you're putting all that uh, a capability on the camera, the network load becomes much lessened. You don't have... Uh, all those data streams going to a server and then have to be looked at at that server level. They're, they're already looked at on the camera, so what comes from the camera is essentially uh, you know, the required video stream that you're needing. Um, some of the benefits, uh, again, you, know, you have a much more, a, a better, more efficient use of your manpower. Um, you know, you may, it may only require one person viewing all these video walls because of the analytics occurring. So you can either reduce, you know, the amount of staff or put them to better use somewhere else. Uh, you know, fewer operators can monitor, uh, even extremely large applications. Uh, we, have, uh, we have some partners that uh, have massive uh, amounts of cameras that are viewed by one or two people because it's all analytics based. Um, but some of the, uh, you know, the, the, the real benefits again include you know faster retrieval excuse me of that uh, of the stored video you know the analytics server or the the analytics engine will know automatically right away if that's required information and can flag it that way so that you can access that specific timestamp in in a video stream as opposed to viewing you know three or four or five hours of video and say oh there's the there's the issue that we're trying to uh, trying to capture um, you know there's quite a few different uh, analytics uh, on board the camera and server levels, you know, from simple video motion detection, which is an analytic, um, to to some extremely advanced analytics, uh, you know, mo object left behind, for instance, things like that, where the camera can actually realize that something has changed in the image and then alert you or begin recording, you know, tagging that information stream. Uh, analytics also, as I mentioned, can drastically reduce uh, your network load and storage needs. Uh, if you imagine a hundred camera installation, for instance, all recording 24-7 to a server to be looked at later, that hundred streams of, of data might be, you know, a hundred gigabytes, thousand gigabytes, whatever, every week or every day even, depending on video format and compression. So that amount of storage has to be factored in for total cost of, of ownership of the system. But with intelligent video, you may drastically be able to re reduce that to maybe less than you know, 10, 20, 30 gigabytes a week uh, due to the fact that you're not recording every little thing that's going on, but only what the camera or the server actually says. Um, camera-based uh, analytics will also reduce that network load because there's no stream coming from the camera unless the camera deems the, uh, the stream worthy of being recorded. So, uh, you know, placing it at the edge is is a definitely a very viable solution for uh, uh, using a bandwidth uh, on your network much more effectively. Uh, new business opportunities is also another benefit uh, with uh, analytics uh, because it, it allows you to uh, to integrate the uh, the video stream into other uh, Things like business, uh, building management, or even uh, 
uh, access card systems, things like that, where you can combine all those attributes into one very reliable system. Uh, in Rebor specifically, um, analytics is being used to analyze consumer behavior. Uh, retailers will put a uh, uh, an end cap display together, and they'll want people to uh, to to check out those products. And and video analytics with people counting, for instance, will allow you to uh, to see how long a person remains at and checks out what's going on. So it's a very very reliable way for the marketers and the retailers to see you know how effective that marketing campaign may be. Um, or if there's even they can look at things like specific routes that people always take through their stores so that they can start figuring out oh we need to move product from one location to another to get more people to look at it because of the way people are walking uh, in airports for instance uh, intelligent video could measure the queue time uh, between entering and exit check-in points for security so we know whether or not we need to open new lanes or or you know we can shut down lanes or or just things like that and it's also obviously uh, as we mentioned uh, a, a very reliable means of object left behind determination people walk in drop a suitcase and then walk away and that suitcase remains for twenty thirty minutes we need to know that we uh, in the security industry we will we want to know right away that something is is amiss and it's not uh, it's not exactly uh, the way we uh, we want it to be so from a uh, from again from a system design point of view on the network uh, for analytics uh, there's two broad categories as I've mentioned uh, centralizing it and distributing the uh, the architecture uh, meaning that you put either the cameras on the edge for the intelligence or you have a, a centralized server uh, both are very reliable um, both both have their their ups and downs um, the is centralized architecture the video and all that other information <clears throat> excuse me is collected by the cameras and brought to that server so you do have a higher bandwidth on your network uh, but you know it, it does allow for for all cameras to be made intelligence because their video stream whether it be an analog camera or or a, a less intelligent IP based camera the servers doing all the work so you can legally and literally, I should say, not legally, put a simple webcam out there recording a, a video stream and then have it become intelligent by a server. Uh, in distributed architectures on the opposite side of things, uh, the edge devices have the intelligence built in. So they're doing the processing, reducing your network bandwidth and allowing you to a total cost of ownership that might be less. You don't have to buy the hardware for the so, uh, for the server itself, which would have to be a separate server to do all that and possibly even a storage system for that server uh, to buffer the, uh, the recordings or the video streams. So there can be uh, some cost differences with the, between the two. But some of the things you need to look at uh, would be uh, the reliability and the system availability. Uh, if you have uh, a centralized system and your your network uh, is questionable or already on the brink of working very hard, it may not be advisable to add that additional analysis application to the network load. Um, you want to make sure that you have a very scalable, flexible environment. You know, as more cameras are added, you may have to upgrade your server quite a bit, uh, whereas edge devices they're on the camera so adding a camera adds the intelligence already uh, interoperability is another concern uh, making certain that you buy a server with the application on it that will support future cameras that you might want to buy if, if somebody comes out with a great camera that you want but it doesn't support it's not supported or doesn't support that software vendor uh, it doesn't give you the ability to uh, integrate it very easily uh, and then security from a, a basic security point of view that making certain that, that the analytics server is, is secure enough that not everybody uh, can get into the server room or get into the server uh, operating system and change things and then obviously cost. Uh, with DVRs in a centralized environment it's very reliable the DVR does all the work for you but as we discovered uh, and seen in trends in the uh, industry, <clears throat> the DVRs can limit the amount of uh, flexibility and even scalability. Uh, DVRs are certain, usually built on a certain 816 or 32 channel platform, and adding that 17th camera or that 33rd camera becomes very costly. You're adding a new new piece of hardware. 
uh, whereas cameras, you simply add a new IP camera with intelligence on board and maybe a new license for your VMS software and away you go. Uh, so it can be a, a much, much better way of doing things uh, on the edge. Um, you know, some of the products that we have seen out available currently, uh, and I'll wrap this up very quickly. Uh, I see I'm getting close to my, my time here. Yep. Uh, we see cross-line detection as a biggie. That's uh, simply a, a line in the sand, so to speak. You can have a camera looking at a gate, looking at, you know, an entrance to a building, and you can draw a line in the sand where you measure or monitor people entering or leaving that area. And depending on the directionality of that cross-line detection, it will let you know people are leaving, but you don't care if they're coming or vice versa. So that's a very reliable uh, uh, way of, of monitoring access to a building or even, you know, again, uh, end cap displays, things like that. Uh, active tampering on board a camera itself, or even, again, if it's server-based, if somebody comes along, spray paints your camera, you want to know it right away. You don't want to find out months later um, that the view has been looking at the pigeon coop um, where you needed it to be looking at, a, at an alley. Uh, so if the camera view changes for whatever reason, that active tampering will alert you to that. Uh, motion detection, as I mentioned, uh, very, very widely used. Uh, simply, you know, if, if any motion is detected in the view, the camera will flag those, those packets and, and begin recording. Uh, some cameras and some surveillance op offering offerings offer audio detection. Uh, a breaking window, for instance, will will uh, create an alarm. Uh, auto tracking on cameras, uh, where they will actually physically follow an object. If it's a PTZ camera, somebody drives into a parking lot, the camera will pan, follow the camera all over uh, wherever it is in its field of view. Uh, there's quite a few companies building both platforms, uh, server-based as well as platforms that will ride right on the camera. Uh, we have uh, some partners specifically, uh, Agent VI, uh, that makes a very comprehensive solution uh, that can be server-based. Uh, iMetis is a, another partner of ours that offers embedded video analytics uh, so they can actually ride on a camera. Uh, Viasis or Viasis uh, is another uh, company that manufactures a very detection uh, uh, suite of tools uh, that's server-based. Uh, VTrack Intrusion uh, is another company that creates a module that can ride on a camera, uh, again offering more functionality than the basic uh, audio and uh, video motion detection functionality on board most intelligent cameras. Uh, and, and, and as we've seen in our trend uh, with partners and in the industry itself. Uh, we're seeing more and more companies that are building applications specific to the camera and specific for their servers for larger installations that are going to be server-based. Uh, so that is, uh, that's it in a nutshell. I uh, Hopefully I didn't speak too quickly uh, and uh, didn't uh, run out of time. No, you, you, uh, you're